Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another Sonic Info and Thoughts video. I'm pretty excited to be doing another one of these so soon, because we got a couple of interesting developments regarding the Sonic the Hedgehog live-action movie for the sequel, and especially considering that Sonic Adventure 2 is featured in my channel intro, yeah, something pretty cool related to that going on as well. So, without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with this article from Tails Channel. As the filming for Sock the Hedgehog 2 takes place, the biggest leak concerning the movie has surfaced. In a set of photos taken by Pursuit 23 and legally obtained by Tails Channel, props for Sock the Hedgehog, Miles Tails Prower, and the Tails Channel reported Knuckles the Echidna could be seen on the set. Not only that, but also photos showcasing Tika Sumter and James Marsden playing the parts of Maddie Wachowski and Tom Wachowski, respectively. So we do have a few photos of James Marsden and Tika Sumter probably either running to help Team Sonic or running away from something. But here's the photo with the props here. So there we go. Team Sonic right there. Sonic, Tails, and our very first look at Knuckles. The rumors are true, and I'm so glad. I've been calling this for a while, but it's it just feels so good to know that it is true. <laughs> that we won't have to wait until the third movie to see my favorite Sonic character besides Sonic himself. Overall, from what I can tell, this is a really good look for Knuckles. Definitely into it. He's absolutely more muscular than he is in the games, which is good because I think that more matches his enormous strength. But thankfully, it's not super overdone like Boom Knuckles was, in my opinion. He's just a bit stronger looking. And also, I find it interesting that the sort of like white collar that he normally has is not there. But it could be possible that they just didn't bother to paint it on this stand-in prop, but are actually going to add it in post when they have the actual model there in the movie. Either way, it's not really a big deal to me, just something that I noticed, but if it's not there, even in the final look, then I think it's fine. Getting back to the article, this photo indicates that Knuckles the Echidna will have a somewhat noteworthy participation in the movie, interacting with Sonic and Tails in the town of Green Hills. It isn't known who is voicing Knuckles yet, although rumors claimed that he'll be voiced by Jason Momoa. And, oh my gosh, please let that be true. That would be such a good fit. As more Sock the Hedgehog 2 developments happen, Tails Channel will keep everyone informed. Yeah, with Knuckles' role in that scene, it looks like he already is teaming up with Sonic and Tails since he's just next to them instead of opposing them. So, this scene probably is much later in the movie. I would be shocked if, towards the beginning, they don't do a Sonic vs. Knuckles battle. <laughs> Because that's what happens in the games, where in Sonic 3, Eggman manipulates Knuckles into having him think that Sonic and Tails are the bad guys, but that's not actually true, of course. So he ends up fighting Sonic and Tails, but then he comes to his senses, but then unfortunately it's too late, and Eggman steals the Master Emerald. But yeah, we'll see how much of that ends up being in the movie. Because it looks like the gun military from Sonic Adventure 2 and so the later Sonic games are also going to possibly have some involvement. This Tales Channel tweet says, Gun makes an appearance in these new Sonic Movie 2 set photos. Images via YVR shoots. Taking a closer look, there definitely is an adaptation of the gun logo on these military vehicles. And it looks most similar to the one from Shadow the Hedgehog's self-titled game. Not as many stars on it, but could be a pretty strong hint that Shadow will also appear in this movie. But I think at the very least, he'll be in the third one. But the one that I find the most interesting is this helicopter, where it has SA-2. Pretty on-the-nose reference to Sock Adventure 2 being abbreviated as SA2, so yeah, it's not very subtle. <laughs> Definitely a reference to the adventure era, possibly being also part of Sonic Movie 2, or maybe just some seed planting for whatever the third movie will be about. As far as I know, there's no Sonic Movie 3 officially confirmed, but I have very little doubt in my mind that it will happen eventually. 
There are quite a lot of set photos that have come out recently about this movie. I will link the Tales Channel website in case you're interested in seeing all of them. And Fort Langley, where they're filming this, is actually in British Columbia, Canada, which... Well, I'm not in British Columbia, but I'm from Canada, so that's pretty cool. But I will show one photo here, because I really love the reference. <laughs> mean Bean Coffee Shop. Because there is a more, I guess you could say, obscure Sonic game. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which takes some inspiration from Tetris. So, they're doing some pretty deep cuts there with the references. I'm very pleased about that. Hopefully there are more that will be scattered throughout the sequel. So overall, some pretty exciting Sonic news in my opinion. Looks like things are finally starting to pick up for the anniversary, even if this is more a leak, but at least it's official, unlike the rumors about the Sonic Colors remaster that I spoke about in my previous Sonic video. So yeah, this should be a really interesting movie. I really hope it will be every bit as good as the first one, or perhaps even better, especially since both Tails and Knuckles are going to be in it. And I think they really should put the gun truck or have some reference to it because that's such an iconic scene from Sonic Adventure 2. And if they're going to have the gun military involved, like, come on, <laughs> you got to do it. If they're going to make deep cut references like Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, they got to have the truck involved somehow. It just feels good to have more stuff to be excited about regarding Sonic again. We have that Netflix show that's coming next year. And so is the Sonic movie, so next year already looks like it's going to be pretty interesting for the blue blur. I just really hope we're going to get news about the game soon. <laughs> I mean, we're almost in May and still nothing but rumors. Hopefully, at least we'll know about the Sonic Colors remaster fairly soon. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. I really hope the 30th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog will be good because I... Still have fairly fresh memories about how badly the 20th anniversary for The Sims went. We, we don't need Sonic in a hot tub for the 30th anniversary, okay? <laughs> At least Sonic did do his 20th anniversary right with Sonic Generations. But feel free to let me know your thoughts on what you think about these developments for the Sonic movie sequel. And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest gaming content including life simulations and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.